What is up, guys? Here it is, the final hurrah, the last game of the year, uh, the only one that matters, coming down to Jared and Jeff. Out of all the teams in the league, these are the last two I'd ever imagine in the championship. Uh, you know, if besides Jared or Jeff, if you say you thought they'd be in the championship, you're full of shit. Um, you know, huge, huge weeks last week. Uh, you know, I thought the matchups were going to be much closer than they were. Both being blowouts. I was very surprised at the outcomes, to be honest with you, um, as I predicted them both wrong. So that just shows, I guess, my fantasy uh, expertise. Anyway, looking at last week's matchup, guys, the only one that really matters, you know, I'll still run through the scores, but uh, I'll go over these in depth. Jobby at home with the home field advantage got Molly Watts 100 to 76. Jeff was led by Matt Ryan with 19. A couple guys with 17 and Roddy White and Aaron Hernandez came up big on Monday night. Brown's D was 16 as well as Trent Richardson. Had a goose egg from Bryce Brown, but it did not matter. Uh, Jobby really, really couldn't have done anything here. Um, you know, nobody really on his bench scoring, and then you just can't have combined four points from your running backs, especially you know, when they carried you pretty much all year. Uh, Fred Jackson's not out for the year, but, you know, C.J. Spiller, possibly a big week next week. Um, you know, but a lot of his studs that were here all year just didn't show up. Manning only had 14, Demarius Thomas with 8. Uh, I mean, that was really about it, and Jobby just couldn't get anything going. So uh, congratulations to Jeff. Uh, moving on to the championship, you know, as the replacement owner. It's supposed to be Aaron, so, you know, it could have been anybody else in that seat. Um, you know, but going uh, going on to Ashley and Jared's matchup, guys, this one also wasn't close. It was closer, but it wasn't close. Uh, based on the fact that Jared's team just, I, I can't even explain, just showed up. Touchdowns pretty much all around from everybody, uh, pretty much except for Mercedes Lewis. All of his players scored at least one touchdown, which is insane. Um, actually, I think most of them scored two touchdowns besides Ridley and Hakeem Nix. Uh, he was led by Marshawn Lynch with unreal 30 points, three touchdowns there. Mike Wallace and Marshall both win the 20s. And then just consistency from Ridley and Nix with 12 and 13 apiece. Um, you know, looking at Ashley's team, you know, Tom Brady obviously went, went bananas on Monday with 27. But that was about all she wrote. You know, I was surprised she started Bolden and it paid off with 19 points. But other than that, Calvin Johnson, you know, a good 11 uh, Ahmad Bradshaw only three points. Frank Gore solid fourteen. Kyle Rudolph with the goose egg at the tight end. Um, you know Ashley maybe. I don't know. Mac. I mean, if you look at Jared's bench, he had nineteen from Sproles, twenty two from Roethlisberger. Um, you know he got some points on the bench too. Ashley with sixteen from Macklin, but in this one one twenty one ninety five. So Jared going to the championship. I love the picture on your team name too. Going to the ship. Plus, you got the hold my dick Lynch picture. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, other nat other matchups around the league, guys, that really don't matter. Uh, Nico pulled off the victory, 88-64 over Eric, uh, led by Jamal Charles with 22. Um, going on, we got me against Mike. Uh, I believe I won that one, 112 to 86. I was led by Adrian Peterson. Continues to tear it up. Nico, I know you won him. Let's talk. AP is on the block, but he had 28, another two-touchdown performance. Uh, Mike was led by Victor Cruz with 18. And then on to the battle of the worst teams in the league. Joe pulls out the victory, 107-53. to Brock with only one guy in double digits. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, he panned out this year, uh, had a goose egg. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Season's over. Uh, holy shit. Just now realized that Joe was led by the Seahawks D with 39. That's retarded. I've never seen that before. Um, so, going on, last week of the season, guys, these are the only matchups that count. This is, the, this is it, the grand finale. Uh, we got Jared going up against Jeff. Championship game. Looking at the matchups, guys, both are projected in the 120s again. Uh, should be a great night. You know, a lot of team. It looks like a lot of Jared's players going... Got a good mix, mostly about 1 o'clock, and then uh, almost all Jeff's players are going at 1, so it'll be uh, exciting to watch on Sunday. I'm definitely going to be just watching this matchup, acting like it's my own. Uh, should be, I'm really pumped to watch it to see who's going to win. I'll be calling the owner right after. Uh, a little congratulatory um, 
message for you. I will be delivering the money as soon as I receive it all. So, uh, like I said, guys, in my last video, I talked about what you owe. Make sure we get that figured out so we can, uh, we can get people paid for best record, most points, and as well, champion, second place, and third place. Um, so, Eric, I know you need the league fees as well as trans, so we'll get that figured out. I'll be calling people this week. Um, on to the battle for third place, guys. This is the battle for 75 bucks. Getting your money back. Uh, in this one, Ashley against Javi. Division rivals here. Battled it out for the seeds. Um, looks like... Hang on, give me a minute. Kind of doing this off the cuff here. Oh! Ashley projected at 102 to Javi's 92. You know, with uh, Fred, Fred Jackson going on the IR, he's got to find a replacement there. C.J. Spiller, especially up against Seahawks D, probably not going to do much. Um, you know, Jabby's definitely going to have to find a serviceable backup in, uh, in a running back. Ashley pretty much has to roll with the lineup. She's got a lot of her guys on the bench are either injured reserve or uh, out for the week, questionable. It's going to be really tough for Ashley, but, you know, she's got Tom Brady. San Francisco's tough matchup there, um, but I see Frank Gore busting out. Um, as well as Calvin Johnson's probably projected at like some 20-something because he's playing Arizona. Yeah, 16. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Other matchups of the week. Going to be me against uh, Nico. Joe against Mike. and Or no, I'm sorry. Joe against Eric. And Brock against Mike. So guys, that is it. Um, I know we've really talked about um, you know, off-season trading, which I'm totally fine with. I really like the idea. Um, just remember that the keepers are still going to stay in effect. Um, really, that's about all I got, guys. I, you know, I know we still have to come up with a draft scenario and what's going to be best for the league. Um, I'm going to get, like I said, once Joe comes home from Purdue, I'm going to get him, probably Nico, if he can come up for Christmas. Um, me, Brock, a couple other people, maybe the champion of the league. Uh, you know, since you kind of have a right to have some input, but I do want to get you guys together so we can actually talk about, uh, what we're going to do for the draft position standings, things of that nature, uh, probably reshuffling divisions. You know, I don't want to keep the same division, you know, for next year. I mean, we can, but I feel like it'd be more fun to shuffle it up. Um, but you know, with it being a keeper league, maybe we shuffle it when the keepers are due. doesn't really matter. Um, we also need to talk about how keepers are going to work. You know, I know it's a two-year keeper, so does that mean, you know, the players you draft this year, that's their first year, you keep them for one year, and then they go back into the draft pool. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll make sure we get the logistics on that taken care of. But regardless, guys, championship week, really pumped to have the two teams in it. Um, I'm, you know, I sent both of you guys a text yesterday saying congratulations. So here we are fighting for the trophy right over there. It's going to have your name engraved on it. Um, you know, I might take... Of like two bucks each out of most points and best record to pay for the imprinting on the trophy uh, just so I don't have to do it out of pocket. Um, I, it usually just takes like a day, two days to get it fixed up so you guys will receive, champion will receive that along with the money once I receive all that stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what's going on. Um, also, I'd like people that haven't paid for transactions and things like that, uh, let me know. And, um, yeah, yeah, let me know, and, I mean, I can meet up, come to the bank, I'll come to you, whatever we gotta do. All right, good luck this week to all the owners in the matchups, um, especially good luck to, uh, Javi and Ashley fighting for that third place prize, uh, as well as Jeff and Jared. Um, also, shout out to Joe for the, uh, comment on the beard, I'm actually gonna shave it now, uh, it's getting a little itchy, a little rough, so... Time to let the beard go back to the pretty boy face. Uh, clean cut. So anyway, that's enough uh, bullshit for the evening. I'm tired. So I will uh, I will see you guys next week announcing the champion, short video, and then we'll obviously continue to go about how the league's going to be run in the offseason going into next year. So all right, you guys have a good night. Good luck this week. Any questions, please hit me up. But we will crown the champion next week at this time. Good night.